going, Dr. Leo Prowl, it's Healthy Feet Podiatry. Guess who's here? My favorite diabetic catastrophe patient. Can we call you Mr. Catastrophe? Go ahead. I shouldn't do that, that's terrible. Um, no, we had um, the label on his um, video was catastrophe because we, he came in after not being seen for a year and his diabetic ulcer opened up again and we thought there might be a bad infection underneath it. Anyway, now it's about two months later, I think, right? Yeah. He's been wearing a walking boot, but he told me today that he wore a shoe, and since he's been wearing the shoe, actually right after he wore the shoe, he, shoe it started to get tender in the area where we turned this down. So this is what this is the beginning stages of what starts to happen. Luckily, this time he came back in and didn't wait. So we're gonna trim this down. I'm gonna try to stay out of the way here so we can see this up close. I don't know if we're gonna see anything under it. Can you get by my arm there? Yes. Oh, no. I don't know if I'm overshadowing this or not. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is trim down this layer and we're gonna see if there's anything underneath. I think what happened is whatever shoe he was wearing, it ended up just getting a big callus on it. But sometimes, and the patients know, even though they're neuropathic and can't feel anything, when it gets sore, that there's actually an issue. So far, so good. No fluid, which is a good thing. Now, in your shoe, Mr. C, should we call you Mr. C? Sure. Um, what, do you have an insert in there? Do you have a, um, no. one of the diet? So you never have got diabetic shoes or an insert or a orthotic, correct? Yeah. No. Okay. So that could be why. What, is that hurting? Okay. I feel it. So we're trying to take these in, in one good slice here, but we're only taking the dead stuff. It's like trimming butter, kind of. So what I do is I feel in the callus and I'm going parallel to this wound here, but you can, already I see, well, does that hurt right there? Okay. okay. So he's got soreness there and that's probably, it's probably just severely inflamed. And I saw like a little bit of, could you see a little fluid there, Paulina, when you were filming? A little bit of fluid and most likely, I mean, it is bodily fluid, but it might be some inflammatory fluid from around that area. There's a couple tendons that attach in that area that we talked about before. And it just might be a little bit of inflammation there with some body fluid because it did open up. Um, but I'll tell you, Mr. C, this does not look that bad. And we're now gonna get the center of this wound. You okay? Is that hurting? Mm -hmm. This is where you might feel something here. And what I do here, again, I'm going right over just the top of the wound. A lot of times I'll dig deep into it to try to get it to bleed to stimulate it. But this is already in the healing stage. And just this alone, just doing the mild um, scratching of the top of the, of the wound here, it's actually gonna stimulate it enough just like this. It may bleed a little bit, it may not, but this is this is really good. This actually looks great. So it's sore because it opened up again yeah. and there was probably a little bit of fluid backed up in there, but this is good. Overall, this looks great. So I'm gonna have you still do the local wound care that you were doing before, okay? okay. And I'm gonna get just a little bit more of this, but two weeks, it's important for you to come back in to do another debridement, can you do that? Or is it, or is it tough, that's tough for you? How about the third? Three, the third of the month, that's great. The third of February or three weeks, is that what yeah. you said? No. Okay, yeah, that's great, that's fine. Unless, Sorry, it, gets, unless it gets worse and I need to come back in. Okay, I'm just gonna squeeze, that's painful. I can feel it. That's painful right there? Yeah. This is where the tendons are. There's, there's three perineal tendons here. There's one that attaches on the top, one that attaches on the side, and then another one that shoots across the bottom of the foot. Oop, shoots across the bottom of the foot right here, this way. So you get you can get severe tendonitis right there, and that's yeah. probably sore. So you have more of a tendonitis. Okay. So we could put a cortisone shot in there. Cortisone would give you, would relieve some of the inflammation that you're yeah. getting. But when we put cortisone close to a wound like this, yeah. you can actually um, it can delay the healing just a little bit. If I, but I can go a little further back in this area right here and give you some relief. Do you feel like you need some relief of the, the pain there? Yeah, okay. Yeah, sure. So we're gonna do a cortisone shot here. I'm gonna slide right by here to grab my shot. Excuse me. 
here for one second. And remember, don't get the ball in the spot. I won't. Keep that camera low. Aim it low. Aim it towards the, the good hair. The good There's no bald spot. Not the top of the head. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the cortisol right here over the tendons. Okay. This is going to be a little different. Just to show you, are you able to feel sharp on your foot right there? No. I was going to do it without the... I can't the, feel you cutting it off with your scalpel, so... So this is ethyl chloride. Ethyl chloride we use to freeze the skin. I'm going to do it without it because just to show you when they lose the feeling that they lose the sharp dull sensation, you'll, you're not going to feel much. If anything, it'll be dulled out. Are you okay with that? Sure. Okay. Um, but this is what we usually do to freeze the skin and then we put it in there. So I put a little bit of alcohol there and I'm going to put the injection right proximal to this. The tendons are right in that area there. So we're going to go up from it. Do you feel that? Oh, he does feel that. Okay. How bad does this feel right now? It, you felt, I feel it. So that's good. So he does have some feel in there where I'm going. If you, you see where I'm going right up in this area is where I'm shooting the cortisone. That's right where the two tendons are attached and then they go across the bottom of the foot. So I'm backing off a little bit with this injection here. You can see that needle bends really easily too. You okay? Yeah. Okay. And that's it. And we're trying to, some of this will go underneath the wound, but it's deep enough that it shouldn't affect it. The healing, he's gonna feel much better with this too. I'm using mainly dexamethasone phosphate in there, which is a fast acting, short acting steroid. And we're only putting about four milligrams of that in there, which isn't that much. Um, but he's going to feel way better with this. He's going to do the local wound care to this. And he'll be able to walk around in his big or his sneakers. So I'm going to get you back two more weeks, okay? okay well, this looks great. He's going to heal fast. I'm going to put a dressing on this. And he's just going to make sure that he always has this covered. He's going to obviously keep his sugars under control. The cortisone shot that I did will possibly raise his sugars if he's sensitive for 24 to 48 hours. But usually if that happens, it'll go up maybe 20, 30 points, if that happens. It's really a matter of him just following his regular diabetic diet. So anyway, this is a great update six weeks after we did the original trimming of these calluses, six to eight weeks. Um, watch the original video called Diabetic Catastrophe. There's another one called Diabetic Disaster, I think where we did a follow up on it. And you can see the progression of this. So if you like what you see, subscribe to the channel, hit that button that says Healthy Feet Podiatry on it. Follow us on Instagram, True. Healthy Feet Podiatry. Yes, and he's gonna show me something. I'm no, gonna... no, I'm just getting my appointment for Very cool. Me. And then we will see you for the next video. Thanks.